It is bone chilling cold outside, and while some folks were able to stay indoors, many others didn't have a choice. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to CBS 2 News, now streaming on CBS in New York. Despite the extreme cold, people had to commute to work. So how are they coping in this deep freeze? CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live outside our studios on the west side with the answer. Alice? Hey guys, good evening. The rumor I hear is that the fashion police are giving everyone a pass for today, which is some good news because many of us are out here looking like a cold mess, not even a hot mess, a cold mess. Now, the mobile weather lab is behind me, but the only scientific tool I need to let me know just how cold it is out here, these gloves, remember these from the 80s? They're like freaky freezers or whatever they're called. Anyway, when it's cold, an object will start to appear. So within seconds, you could see I got a unicorn there. That's how you know it's actually really cold out here. But on a serious note, all joking aside, this weather, these temperatures can be very dangerous for your health. Brutal. I have to force myself to come to work today. I have to literally drag myself out of the bed. This man's office is actually outside. He sells sightseeing tours. They don't want to stop. Just try stopping somebody in the freezing cold to talk about a tour. But proving nothing can really shut down New York City, the food trucks are also open for business, though some said they were closing early after the lunch rush. And as always, we can find people who don't mind the freeze. I did live in New uh, Chicago for a few years, and I just moved back, thankfully, last summer. So I'm glad to be here in New York, where I consider this warm and sunny with blue skies versus what's in Chicago right now. Sunny skies aside, it's cold enough for frostbite and hypothermia out there. On a day like today, where the temperatures are in the single digits, uh, it could be minutes if you're not properly dressed. Dr. Dean Olson with Nassau University Medical Center says this is of particular concern for a specific group of people. Any patients with uh, poor circulation, uh, diabetics, very old people, they don't feel the cold as much as, as good as other, other people that have uh, intact uh, neurologic systems. Obviously, he says, don't forget to layer up, like this woman visiting from Kansas. Honestly, just a sweater and a t-shirt right now, a pair of jeans, so I will be going back to the hotel and doubling up here shortly. And believe it or not, there is a wrong way to layer. I think the key is that you want to have clothing that's warm, but also allows for um, circulation in the extremity. So if you have something that's too tight on the hands or too tight on the feet, it can inhibit blood flow, and that in and of itself can predispose uh, an individual to frostbite. Now, obviously, my face is not covered. I am feeling it on my face. You want to have all of your skin covered up in temperatures like these. I don't know if you could see it before, but yeah, it turned into a unicorn. That's how cold it is out here. We're just trying to keep it exciting for you as best as we can. We are live outside of the broadcast center. Maurice and Christine, back to you. It is a visual medium, Alice. Thank you. <laughs>